Athletic Greens launched in 2010 and it quickly became one of the best known and most successful green superfood powders on the internet. If you spend as much time steeped in nutrition articles as we do and reading about fitness stuff on the internet, there's a pretty good chance you've already seen this product promoted by some influencers out there. It's probably best known, well, it's very well known for being the favorite supplement of internet entrepreneur God King Tim Ferriss, who called it, quote, his all-in-one nutritional insurance. And the product really does claim to have a really wide variety of benefits, including but not limited to supporting energy, immune system, gut health and digestion, hormone function, neural function, and the body's normal detox process, and it might support blood sugar levels that are already within normal range. Carefully worded, but nonetheless, a pretty impressive breadth of benefits. So, is it any good? Well, I gotta say, I've tried a whole lot of green superfood powders. Many of them are disgusting. Many of them really offer practically no vitamins and minerals. Athletic Greens, it really is up there as I think the best green superfood powder on the market. It's really jam-packed full of vitamins and minerals to a very unusual degree. It's got a bunch of stuff for gut health, a bunch of stuff for inflammation, and it actually doesn't taste that bad. Let's actually try it out right now. Hmm. There are so many green superfood powders out there that taste like dirt, like just unadorned, unsweetened, very unromantic piles of dirt and soil because they probably don't add any flavorings at all. But Athletic Greens, although it has no artificial flavors or sweeteners, or like corn or GMOs or a whole bunch of other stuff, it does have some flavorings in here, but the flavoring is a natural pineapple flavor, natural vanilla flavor. Uh, there's a bit of carrot, a tiny bit of ginger and papaya in there as well. It's sort of like a vaguely tropical sort of flavor. There's a bit of earthiness there as well, but I wouldn't call it bitter at all. Whereas most green superfood powders are just so bitter, it's like a real struggle to get it down. So yeah, the main flavors I'm getting here, vanilla, pineapple, and like a bit of spirulina type flavor. I'm pretty happy with it, but you know what? I'm foreign, maybe I have a weird palate, maybe you don't want to trust me, so I tell you what, I'll recruit a couple other editors here at Barben, see what they think. Jake Bolly, fitness editor of barben.com. Phil, Phil Blackman, he's our news editor. Try it out, what do you reckon? It's got a very good pungent smell, I like it. On, this, on the flavor spectrum of greens powders, of all the greens powders I've had, it's not as earthy which I'm a fan of, like I could casually drink this. You know, it's actually a lot better than I was expecting. But I'm not gonna say it tastes as good as Kool-Aid. Can I continue drinking this? With green spiders, I'm either chugging them, I'm, I'm either chugging them or not drinking them. Um, what else would you like to know about it? It's probably too much of the video already. So let's talk about the actual nutrition here, like the vitamins, minerals, macronutrients, that sort of stuff. So one heaped tablespoon uh, has 50 calories, getting six grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, under a gram of sugar, and two grams of protein, and I don't think there's any fat here whatsoever. Now when it comes to the actual vitamins and minerals, there's actually a lot to talk about, refreshingly so, because as I mentioned, many of these products actually don't have that many vitamins and minerals. This one gets 700% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin C, getting over 300% of your daily vitamin E, about 6% of your vitamin A, and a good 100% or more of basically all of your B vitamins here, including B12, which is actually important for folks on like uh, on low animal protein sorts of diets. Uh, besides that, there's not a lot of minerals. Like, you know, I mean, it's pretty high in selenium. You get 30% uh, of your daily selenium and 100% of your daily zinc which is also important for people not getting a lot of meat, but it's also just important in general for like uh, you know, your uh, testosterone production, your hormonal health, your bone strength, that sort of stuff. So it's got a good amount of zinc, a good amount of selenium, um, but it does not actually have a whole lot of like, uh, say potassium or magnesium as under 10% for both of those. It's not crazy high in minerals, but nonetheless, it is a really good amount of nutrition for a greens powder. If you wanna compare that to like Amazing Grass Superfood, which is one of the most popular on the market, the only vitamins and minerals that product has that are over 20% of the daily intake would be vitamin A at about 25, vitamin C at about 57, and vitamin K at about 88% of the recommended daily intake. And there's really nothing else on the nutrition label. This here, you're getting a whole ton of vitamin A and C and E, all the B vitamins, uh, selenium, zinc, all sorts of that kind of stuff. So yeah, vitamins, minerals, very impressive. But what people really get green superfood powders for are the ingredients, usually, rather than the vitamins and minerals. So let's see what the actual ingredients are and the potential benefits they may confer. 
So what are the ingredients you're gonna get in Athletic Greens? There are 75 of them, which is more than I've seen in any of their competitors. And again, I've tried dozens of their competitors. And so the ingredients are all split up into four different categories. I'm not gonna read every single one of them and talk about the benefits because we both know that'll be really boring and then you stop watching the video. What I'm gonna do here is talk about the different blends in the product and give you like an idea of what the benefits might be. So the first one is the Alkaline Nutrient Dense Raw Superfood Complex which is 7.3 grams of a couple dozen different ingredients. And in this, you're getting a lot of ingredients that are really high in antioxidants, which is another one of the big draws of greens powders. It's because people are becoming more and more aware of the potential benefits of getting more antioxidants in your diet. So anyway, long story short, antioxidants may help to combat some of the signs of aging. And this has a lot of ingredients that are really high in antioxidants, like the uh, like spirulina, you also got some wheatgrass juice powder, alfalfa powder, chlorella powder, barley leaf powder, a bunch of these products that are really standard in greens powders and they're known for their incredible antioxidant density. So that's a really big draw here. And in addition to having a lot of antioxidants, these grassy sorts of ingredients also have links to like a decreased blood pressure, improved heart health, maybe decreased cancer risk, that sort of thing. I'm not a doctor at all. I gotta make that really clear. This is not medical advice. There are nonetheless some studies that link these ingredients to benefits like that. And so for example, the spirulina, uh, some research has found that as much as like as little as one gram of it per day could potentially help to improve heart health. Now it is the first ingredient here in a 7.4 gram blend so there's a pretty decent chance you're getting a gram of it here, but the main problem with Athletic Greens is that it is a proprietary blend. So you don't actually know how much of each ingredient you are getting. So it's hard to be really concrete and say like this much of this ingredient is linked to this benefit. We don't actually know precisely how much of it. Nonetheless, given where it is in the ingredients list, I'm pretty confident you're hitting an effective dose. Next we've got the Nutrient Dense Extracts, Herbs and Antioxidants blend. And this blend has a lot of ingredients that are considered adaptogens. So I'm talking about rhodiola rosea, eleuthera root, ashwagandha. An adaptogen is an ingredient or a food that has some links to helping the body to manage stress. Be that stress from a stressful day at the office or the stress from a particularly tough workout. So these ingredients, in addition to some other ingredients on here, like certain mushroom powders here, we've got like uh, shiitake mushroom powder, that kind of thing. These ingredients have some links to like helping people to manage anxiety, improve focus, uh, beat fatigue, maybe even improve athletic performance. So adaptogens, it's a really interesting area of nutrition with some interesting potential links to some pretty interesting benefits. Again, this is a proprietary blend. We don't know the exact amount of each ingredient. There are 17 ingredients in this blend that is 2.7 grams altogether. And like, look, the, uh, the ashwagandha, for instance, that's 10th on this list of, that's in 2.7 grams. And some studies have shown that you need like 50 milligrams to 500 milligrams of ashwagandha to produce an effect. So like given where it is in the ingredients list, I'm pretty confident you're gonna get an effective dose of it and of the other ingredients as well. Again, I don't really know if it's the main downside, but it, I'm pretty confident here. I'm gonna wrap up the ingredients here and just talk about the last two blends at once because I'm super efficient like that. What we've got here is the digestive enzyme and super mushroom complex. I mentioned the mushrooms earlier and the dairy-free probiotics. So these are ingredients for digestive health. So this has like a three-pronged approach at improving digestive health. So you've got some prebiotic fiber. That's a type of fiber that feeds the probiotic bacteria living in your gut. And these bacteria, they help you to like break down food, uh, absorb nutrients, that sort of thing. You've also got some enzymes here in the form of bromelain. That is a digestive enzyme. Naturally, it's found in like pineapple and some fruits. It appears to help you to break down protein more effectively, absorb the amino acids a bit more easily, as well as like potentially help lower risk of heart disease, maybe. Like there's some studies showing that as well. And then finally, 7.2 billion probiotic bacteria, which as I just mentioned, that's the bacteria that lives in your digestive tract. And there's some evidence that supplementing or having a healthy population of digestive uh, bacteria in your gut, that can help to contribute not only to improve nutrient absorption and decrease instances of indigestion, but also like maybe immunity, maybe inflammation, possibly even mental health maybe. It's a very new area of science. There's a lot of stuff we don't really know for sure. But everyone's like pretty confident that yeah, digestive health could indeed be linked to immunity and inflammation. So it's really interesting. And this has again, the three different ways it helps to potentially improve your digestive health. So it's pretty impressive. Now compared to most other green superfood powders on the market, Athletic Greens is on the pricier side. If you wanna get a bag like this, uh, just like a one-off purchase, it's gonna cost you between 85 and 100 bucks. It winds up at about $3.20-ish cents per serving. If, however, you subscribe for a monthly shipment, the price drops to between 70 and 80 bucks uh, per bag. So it winds up at closer to 
50, 60 cents per serving. So it's a pretty significant discount if you do like it. If you want, you've also got the option of getting these uh, in a box of 30 different pouches. Uh, so these are like single serve pouches like this. So they're like a travel pack. They're really easy to take with you on the go for that added convenience. You wanna get one of these, uh, it's gonna cost you between $3.40 and $3.80 per bag if you get like a box of it one off. If you subscribe, again, the price drops a little bit to about uh, between $3.70 and $3.20 per hit. So on average, about $3 per serving is what you can look at for Athletic Greens. And yeah, it is on the pricier side for one of these products. All right, so let's talk about the pros and cons of this product so you can make up your own mind. Why should you get it? First of all, let's talk about that. The pros, uh, it is unusually high in vitamins and even minerals for a greens powder um, and also potentially more easily absorbed than the sorts of vitamins and minerals you'll get in a standard multivitamin. That's a big bonus people really like about this product. But in addition to the vitamins and minerals, it's got a ton of antioxidants or ingredients that are known for being high in antioxidants, I should say, like more accurately. It's also got plenty of ingredients that are linked to improve digestive health. You get your prebiotic fiber, your digestive enzyme, your probiotic bacteria. And you've also got adaptogenic ingredients here as well, which could help you to manage stress. There's a whole lot of stuff going on here beyond just vitamins and minerals that could contribute to your overall well-being and maybe even longevity as well because some of these ingredients like the spirulina the chlorella that sort of stuff that could potentially help you manage cholesterol and stuff as well one more time i'm not a doctor but there are some studies linking these ingredients to stuff like improved heart health and that kind of stuff so a lot more again than just vitamins and minerals here it's also surprisingly tasty for a greens powder if you've ever had any greens powder that is not this one i'm gonna bet that you weren't blown away by the taste they often taste like soil this pretty enjoyable and it's also certified by NSF for sport which means if you're a competitive athlete you can have some peace of mind knowing there are no banned substances in here. There are three main potential downsides with this product. Uh, number one if you're looking for a replacement for a vitamin and mineral supplement this doesn't have a huge amount of minerals it's really only got like a decent amount of zinc and selenium everything else is just kind of so so on. Again it's still head and shoulders above all of its competitors honestly when it comes to minerals um, but nonetheless not crazy high in minerals if you're directly comparing this to a multivitamin. Number two, it is pretty expensive. It is one of the pricier greens powders on the market. And number three, it's not the most transparent product in the entire world. By that, I mean mainly uh, these are all proprietary blends. We don't know the exact amount of each ingredient it contains. It makes it hard to precisely say this amount of the ingredient is linked to this benefit. Again, when I look at the list of the ingredients, which are arranged by the prevalence of each ingredient in the blend, uh, I can, when I make like a guesstimate of it, yeah, it does seem to line up with like studies that say what is an effective dose. Like I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty confident with it, like when I have taken a look at it like that. Uh, but you know, I'd rather not have to guesstimate, you know. And while I'm talking about transparency, uh, they do talk a lot about how the ingredients here contain antioxidants. But we don't know the precise like strength of the antioxidant content of the product, which might sound a bit finicky, but there is actually something called the ORAC score, which some companies use to, uh, to assess like the antioxidant strength of their product. Like they give you a score on the ORAC score and you can measure it against like a cup of blueberries or something, right? So a couple of green spares out there actually include the ORAC score just so when they say we're high in antioxidants, we can say it has like this many times more antioxidants than like a cup of blueberries, something like that. Athletic Greens does not include that. That's not a big deal because very few companies do. I'm being a bit finicky here, but I'm just trying to say, uh, I don't know exactly how strong the antioxidant content is and I don't know exactly how many of any of the ingredients it contains. So that's a bit of transparency I would have preferred to have. That said, taking a look at the blends and taking a look at the research, I'm pretty confident in the strength of the product. All right, there's my thoughts on Athletic Greens Ultimate Daily. Uh, I think it's the best greens powder on the market. I do. It's pretty expensive, to be fair. Yeah, uh, you know, and I would have liked it to not have a proprietary blend. But nonetheless, I have looked at all of the greens powders out there. Uh, and I'm the happiest with Athletic Greens, to be honest. Uh, the full written review, though, is in the description below. If you want to check it out, take a look at some of these studies I've been talking about so you can make up your own mind as to whether or not this is the right product for you. All right, Jake Bowley, fitness editor of barben.com. Try it out. Jake, what do you think? Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it on